I had an opportunity to get down there Wednesday to, to uh, see the, the, the these big massive fishing boats come in, and uh, it, it was a great uh, it was fun, a lot of fun being down there. Um, Greg Mark grew up in Pensal grew up in uh, Merchantville, went to Pensalk in high school, two time national champion at the University of Miami, the Hurricanes. Two times as a player, once as a coach. Let's go to the Barb's Harley Davidson Sports Hotline and welcome into the locker room, Greg Mark. What's up, Greg? Oh, you know, Billy, just uh, rocking and rolling over here. I'm still over at the Farley Marina here at the Gold Nugget, just cleaning up, uh, cleaning up after after an awesome tournament. Uh, today, today is actually the Polygraph Day, so that's what I'm over here doing at this moment. What's that mean, Polygraph Day? Well, uh, since it's a uh, high dollar uh, fishing event, uh, it, it, we we randomly select uh, anglers off of the boats that are in the money, and we subject them to a polygraph. So really, we, we allow them to we allow them to bring their lawyers, but not their wives. Well, I got to tell you, you better you you, you probably want to get the polygraph <laughs> test out to Grimesy and uh, Rambo, the, the Rambo, the captain there, Billy. <laughs> You know, you want to you want to get Cliff Grimes. You want to get all those guys, Billy Swenson. <laughs> well, we're well, we're not going to ask him. We're not going to ask those guys questions about the fishing tournament. We'll get some other answers. Yeah, out of them. some other questions. <laughs> so, hey, hey, Greg, I got to tell you, never met you. Uh, I I moved away. I graduated high school in 1980. You, I think you got out in what 85. So I wasn't yeah, really. Yeah. I was living in Florida, and I wasn't aware, you know, your high school uh, record. But when I got to talk to you. It was like we knew each other. You know, like, like we had such a great connection from from South Jersey football. You played for Coach McEnany, and uh, you played for a, you know, a great program, Pensalkin. I'm sure you learned a lot from uh, your days in Pensalkin. Oh, without a doubt. Uh, Vince McEnany, listen, I've, I've, I've had the, uh, the pleasure of playing for the coaches like Jimmy Johnson, Bill Belichick, Don Shula, uh, you know, Nick Saban, Bill Parcells. And when, uh, when I'm asked, uh, well, who my who the, who the coach that had the most influence on me? It always goes back to Vince McEnany, wow. legend at Pennsylvania High School. He is he's he's the one that got got it all started for us. Uh, uh, well, yeah, as a youngster, really pushed us, and uh, just one of those legendary not just coaches but legendary men in my life. So, wow, that's uh, yeah. And coming and coming back to South Jersey, like you were just talking about. Hey, listen, I, I was I've been gone for a while. I live in Miami now, but uh, and that's where my home is. But uh, I'm 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 not. My roots are here in South Jersey. So coming back, it's like uh, you know, after a few steps left and right, and it was like I've never been here before. I've never left. So I'm really happy to see you, and I'm glad we hit it off. And I got to tell you, Greg, for you to say that some of the coaches, legendary NFL coaches that you named, for you to say that about Vince, man, that, that, that that's pretty amazing. And I'm sure if any of his family members are listening, they're probably ecstatic that you said that because I know, you know, these these coaches, these high school coaches, mold mold us into the, the people that we are later on in life, and and gave you your foundation so that when you went down to the University of Miami, you were prepared. Without a doubt, you know that, that coaching staff at Penn Sauk and uh, you know I, I can go through. A, the whole list of them, they're all legendary in my mind. You know, Pete Tate and, and, and Don Spear and, and uh, the, the whole crew over there. You know, what they did for us as young men, they, they created an atmosphere uh, that really didn't allow us to fail. Even, and, and I don't mean, not, you know, we were very talented as a football team, but I'm talking about as men, you know, didn't allow us to build confidence. You know, walk out of there giving your best, and whether you won or you lost, you didn't fail, and that's and that's the kind of uh, foundation they instilled in. in, in and I, I can uh, probably, if there's any other Pensac and Indian alumni out there that are listening, they're shaking their head. Heck yeah, they know exactly what I'm talking about. We're talking with Greg Mark, University of Miami standout. So you go down to the University of Miami, and how about this for a record? While you played during your playing days, 55 and five record. And you're second all time in sacks. That's 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 amazing, man. <laughs> well, I, I'll tell you that, that I I remember a few of the fifty five, but I'll, I'll tell you, Billy, I remember I I remember all oh, of the five that yeah. we lost. That's all I tell you. So, uh, you know, it, it was it was amazing. You know, I stepped into a place, and this is before internet, before you had it, and you know, all the all the all the access to to your research to facilities and just. Fell in love with it. Fell in love with Coach Johnson and Coach Art Kehoe, who who brought me in there. And um, uh, 
uh, he's, he was a Concha Hawking guy and from the area. Uh, and, and, you know, I walked into a place. I, you didn't know, I didn't realize what the talent level was there. Uh, you know, you know, because when you're in it, you're just, I'm just trying to keep my head above water yeah. and, and, and not embarrass yourself. But we got, you know, you, the locker room that you can go through with names, it was amazing. And, and, you know, we pushed each other and just happened to be in the right place at the right time with the right people. And, you know, good things happened and I uh, had a chance to win a couple national championships as a player and uh, even came back to coach for about 10 years as a D-line coach and was fortunate enough to win one. Should have had two. There's an asterisk next to that one. But, <laughs> uh, but, but, uh, uh, but that's just, uh, you know, that's the way the ball rolls. So. You know, Greg, it's, it's Scott McKay. Uh, I, I grew up and I, I knew of Vince McEnany because I grew up in Cherry Hill and, and, uh, and Vince right. was well known back then. But other than yourself, you've got guys that came out of Pennsauk and like Dwight Hicks and yeah. Ivan Hicks and yeah. Todd McMahon, John Taylor, Billy Griggs. Jeez. I mean, there was a there was a wealth of players that came out of there that had huge careers into college and into the NFL. I mean, what was it you think that Vince really was? What was his best asset? Uh, well, probably location at that time. <laughs> 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 Listen, I, the one thing I learned as a coach, you know, it, it's 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 not about the X's and O's. It's usually about the Billies and the Joes, you know. So, uh, but 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 I'll tell you what it is. You know, you have guys like that, that and that list you read off. They're all legendary. They all they all made you know made good for themselves, and obviously made Penn Salkin proud. Uh, you know, but but those guys are only one of eleven, or one of twenty-two, or however many guys that you know were so. Uh, what 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 Vince and his staff did was not only cultivate that type of talent and utilize that type of talent that we had that it was inherently there based on the geographic uh, of the school, but there's 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 other ten guys that were with them, elevated them, created created that atmosphere where you know they can go out there and and play. And listen, they can play just like a Billy Griggs or a Dwight Hicks or a yeah or or a, a McNairs and and you know and, and that's the type of team we had. You know, and that's the type of atmosphere that was in the locker room, which, uh, you know, created created the success that we had at Pensacola. We're talking with Greg Mark, uh, University of Miami product from Pensacola, New Jersey. Uh, you're here up in uh, South Jersey with the fishing tournament. I'm telling you, I saw that t- tuna, that, uh, I guess it was a 290-pound tuna that came off the crane. I'll tell you what, that fish was huge. Oh, come on, Bill. You missed you missed you missed the six hundred and seventy nine pound marlin that came in yesterday. Oh, <laughs> that was a baby. That's <laughs> a that was a baby. Uh, no, I'll tell you I'll tell you what, the fish that were coming in here, we had the setup that we had here at the Gold Nugget and the Farley uh, Marina here, uh first class. Uh we had a we had a huge crane, probably bigger than we needed just for some show. Uh but uh, but we would we would uh you know, send the boom out over the water, pull in fish off the back of boats, and I'll tell you, these anglers were out there working hard, and they brought in, uh, you know, I don't know the exact number of tuna, but uh, I know that we were able to give away probably 20, 150 and up pound tunas to the local local Boys and Girls Club, oh, local awesome. Salvation that's Army, great. as they were donated in. So so there was a lot there was a lot of fish, and there's a lot of sushi going around last <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, Greg, so I was trying to tell you when, I, when you and I – it came to the conclusion that you worked at the uh, pro shop in Cherry Hill. I told the story. Pro the shoe, yes. Pro shoe, shoe, I mean. And, uh, I, I, you know, World Wide West was the manager. And I'm like, wait a minute. I, I remember going to summer school with, with uh, I, I, I remember going to summer school with a guy that was a manager there. And I couldn't remember his name. And I said, when I asked you, and then I, when World Wide West walked by, I said, hey, did you ever go to summer school in Collingswood? He, he looked at me and went, I never failed. <laughs> as it turns out, well, Greg. As it turns out, I went. I was. I uh, went to school with his brother Dodson. Correct. Correct. Yes. You, we got the. We got the wrong World Wide West there. Yeah. yeah World Wide Dot. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot wait to talk to. We haven't. So when we were kids, I guess we're going into tenth grade, uh, summer of uh, ninth grade. We we decided to take an elective so that when we played football, we didn't have to be bogged down with with uh, with subjects we were going to fail. <laughs> <laughs> so we hey, went listen, to su- I will tell you I'll tell you Penn Salk, and it, I, I I my summer course con- consisted of driver's ed and my coach was and my my instructor was Vince Mackinac. <laughs> <laughs> listen Straight great and I'm, gonna, we're, we're, and I'm gonna tell you what we did we he came picked us up in the car 
We got no driver's seat, and we drove him around on errands all around. The day. <laughs> we stopped here. Okay, I'll be out in about 20 minutes. He ran in, had a meeting, came out. Okay, on to the next place. Uh, so, yeah, some, that's what summer school's for, isn't it? Well, <laughs> Greg, we're not shocked that Billy went to summer school. That's not shocking at all. But you got to play with uh, Cortez Kennedy back in Miami who obviously became a great player. Uh, listen, my roommate was Mike Shad, and I think you know Mike because you were with the Eagles in the in, like around sure, 90, sure. so Mike was my roommate for four Shadow and a half years. Act. And he used, to t- he used to say to me every Monday, I go, Shad, are you all right? He's like, uh, Cortez Kennedy yesterday. He says, I-, I-, I don't know if I can get out of bed this morning. He said he was just brutal to play with. How was that playing with him in Miami? Oh, let me tell you. You know, my man Tez, uh, you know, God rest his soul. Yes. What, 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 a, what a wonderful man and uh, – uh, you know, and, and we miss them greatly. But, uh, you know, let me tell you, everybody says, oh, yeah, 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 you're, you, you have all these sacks. You have uh, your second there. And, and listen, I walk out with my chest held high because I did have to actually get them. But it made it a whole lot easier when you <laughs> had Cortez say. Kennedy playing right next to you. Right. And then, hold it, hold it, and right next to him, Russell Maryland. Oh, my God. It was God. the first round. <laughs> So, so when 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 all five offensive linemen have to block them, it, it makes it pretty easy to so take you, back the quarterback. I was going to say you had an open lane right to the quarterback, but you had to take advantage of it, right. and you did. Hey, Greg, yeah, Greg, yeah. Greg yes, sir. Wes wants you to t- wants to tell a story. How did Jim tell a story? Jimmy Johnson's story. How you got how you got to Miami? Oh boy, oh boy, hello, <laughs> uh, yeah. Jimmy was actually coming to recruit David Griggs. He was the blue chip recruit on our team that year. Uh, I was being recruited by, you know, Virginia Tech and Rutgers and, and Pittsburgh. But uh, Miami was just kind of kind of cold recruiting me, just, you know, hold, uh, hold me on the line, not really giving me, uh, give me much love. But uh, uh, Jimmy Johnson was the coach at the time. He was down here in Atlantic City. He's at the casino. He sees him and he goes, okay, we got to go hit a basketball game. I want to go see this David Griggs guy. So they drive in a driving snowstorm to Cherry Hill West High School. We're playing Cherry Hill West in their gym, 7 o'clock at night game. Um, and Jimmy walks in and sits down next to uh, a young, handsome William Wesley. Not, <laughs> not quite worldwide back then, but, and, uh, yeah, but, but uh, he, was, he was more tri-county-wide West at that time. But, uh, but he was working on it. And, you know, I'll tell you what uh, he said. Listen, I know you're here for the Griggs, but you need to keep an eye on the best athlete on the, on the basketball court. And he goes, oh, yeah. And Jimmy goes, oh, yeah, How, who is that? And he goes, the guy going to be jumping center right now. And they had me jump center at the time. So <laughs> this so happens as the game goes on, I just happened to have one of those games. I scored 28 points. And I, I, back then, before I got uh, a little bit more, uh, uh, you know, I had uh, gravity took hold of me a little bit more. I used to be able to jump. Uh, so, uh, but, uh, and, and, you know, dunking the ball all over, I just had one of those games. And uh, at that time, at the end of the game, uh, David Griggs says, "No, no, no! I'm not. I'm not interested in Miami." And Jimmy got a little upset and and turned to West uh, and goes, uh, "Hey, West, what do I got to do?" He goes, "Hey, the only thing is, I- I'll deliver him. The only thing you got to do is I come with him." <laughs> <laughs> so, so at that point, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy walks out of the gym going. Get me that white kid, and that was that was me. <laughs> Jump the Give me that. <laughs> and that's how that's how you know, that's how it began. It was a, uh, it was uh, one of those deals where you know we just um, funny and but true, you know. And uh, William William was uh, you know an advocate. Listen, I grew up with Wes, and let me tell you the things he does he does for the youth. Not not just then, but or not just then with me, but now uh, it's amazing. And then uh, you know he that, that that gave me a shot and. Here I am today talking to you. See well, big time. Well, Greg, I got to tell you, man, I really appreciate you uh, facilitating our interview with Jimmy Johnson last week. That was a lot of fun, and it was it was it was really wonderful to to meet you and get to you know talk about South Jersey football. Walk down memory lane. I wish you the best. Come up and when you, next time you come up to Ocean City, make sure you get in touch with uh, me and Mark Grimes, and uh, we'll go out for a couple pops. And uh, I want to thank you so much for coming on today. I really appreciate it. Hey, no, thank you guys for all you did, uh, getting this, getting the word out there about the tournament. Thank Mark Grimes for the lovely accommodations you put my family up in in Ocean City. And listen, we're looking forward to being here every year. Anything we can do to uh, help you guys out along the way uh, if it, that you need. But uh, we're going to be back. We're going to be bigger and better than ever. Uh, so we'll definitely, uh, we'll definitely see you then. Okay. All right, Greg. Thank you so much. Happy summer. We'll talk hey. to you again. 
See you, Greg. You got it. Thank you, guys. Have a great day. There he is, Greg Mark on the Barb's Harley-Davidson Sports Hotline. What a great guy, Scooter. Yeah, he's a great guy. I'm telling you.